I'm Gaz Reynolds, I post my life on social media and YouTube, and recently I've noticed with my relentless upload schedule, I've been getting really, really burnt out. Like so many YouTubers, I felt under constant pressure to keep uploading new videos. When I first started the G-Log, I was uploading videos on a daily basis, but it soon caught up with me, and I'm asking, is it really worth it? Meet radio and television personality Gaz Reynolds, the founder of World Domination Records and Great Drive Driving School. Like, comment and subscribe to be part of the journey. This is Gaz Reynolds, the G-Log. The G-Log album is now on sale worldwide. Get your copy now, available at YouTube Music, Spotify and all major outlets around the world. Links in the description below. Welcome, Welcome to another, another exciting, exciting episode, episode of the G-Log. A couple of days back, I was actually watching a Casey Neistat video, and he was talking about YouTubers that get burnt out, and it kind of rang a bell with me, because recently I've been feeling quite exhausted from my uh, rather hectic upload schedule, where I've uh, been uploading Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, uh, and having to come up with constant ideas and of course a lot of people don't realize that behind the scenes is all the editing and marketing of these videos and even scripting now I actually work to a very sort of um, ad lib type script so what I mean by that is I actually uh, note down some ideas and then I kind of um, well it's sort of ad lib as I go along so I try and keep the edits to a minimum on quite a lot of the videos like this one uh, some of my other videos will be very heavily edited and they could take a week to edit so you know it all depends but basically a lot of people don't realize what goes on behind the scenes and what's involved in actually putting a video together and there's been a lot of publicity recently about how YouTubers are getting very very burnt out with the constant demands of needing to satisfy the algorithm of YouTube Famous YouTubers such as PewDiePie, Taylor Nicole Dean, Casey Neistat, Elle Mills and Bobby Burns have all at some point suffered from burnout. Now in Casey's video he did make some very valid points about say PewDiePie who uh, in 2016 actually had to take a break uh, from his hectic schedule. Uh, I don't know how PewDiePie does it doing daily videos because I did actually start off doing daily uh, videos when I launched the G-Log uh, last year but I found it just so exhausting that I just couldn't carry on so I changed my schedule to Monday, Wednesday and Friday and I'm now actually looking at possibly just doing two videos a week because of the, you know, I'm just feeling very, very burnt out. Now, another good example of somebody who got burnt out was Casey Neistat, and he had to take a bit of a break. Even recently, he took a break. And fair enough, he, he's, he's been doing this for a very, very long time, and he loves doing daily videos, but of course, you know, family life gets in the way, and everyday life gets in the way. And that's what people don't realize sometimes, so that's why I thought I'd make this video. Uh, another good example of a very famous YouTuber who kind of uh, rocketed to fame very, very quickly is the legendary Elle Mills. Now, um, you know, historically, she actually did actually have a kind of breakdown actually on a video and she decided to release that video and I think that's really what it sort of made her explode really in a way uh, she became even more famous because people saw that she was very genuine however she did actually have to take some time out from social media uh, because she was just completely burnt out now fortunately she's back now and uh, this is a, a very common problem amongst YouTubers right around the world there's been so much publicity about it recently a very very good example of uh, burnout, you know, what I call YouTube burnout, is Bobby Burns. Now, Bobby Burns was made really sort of got very famous for his associations with Shane Dawson, but he's been around on the platform for many, many years. I think about 11 or 12 years, but he uh, really did have quite a bad kind of uh, period of, um, well, burnout and almost like a breakdown, really and uh, he is still floating around on the platform but he's not doing as much as what he used to do. Now I have to say that I've recently been feeling really burnt out, you know, the constant upload schedule really has taken its toll on me but I've got to say I still enjoy videos. I did actually take uh, yesterday off so I didn't actually um, meet my upload schedule yesterday so I thought I'd finish off this video today. I just wasn't feeling the vibe for it yesterday at all so I thought I'd finish it off today and upload it today and um, 
I'd be really interested to hear from any uh, maybe content creators that are on YouTube that maybe are feeling quite burnt out or maybe even feeling sort of disillusioned as to feeling under the pressure of actually uploading on a frequent basis. Now I know that there's many YouTubers out there and I can give some good examples of say Jesus who's on my channel. Hi mortals, I'm Jesus. Who uh, very rarely makes a video but when he makes one he can get you know hundreds of thousands or even millions of views. So there are great creators out there like another good example is Taylor Nicole Dean who's a pet tuber. Um, she actually recently said that she um, had to uh, sort of take a break from social media and she's actually taking a break at the moment just because uh, you know she was finding it really really difficult she was burnt out and then there was a backlash around you know some uh, sort of drama around her life and, and her channel and so she's taking a break from it at the moment another good example is another pet tuber called Jennifer Lynx she actually took a break as well um, I think that was to do with personal reasons as well as being burnt out but you know the, it's just such a massive thing amongst youtubers and so um, what I would be interested in in hearing from is any creators who have actually gone through um, this experience of feeling burnt out and feeling under pressure of constant uploads so uh, I'd love to hear your stories down below so if you if you if you have had any stories please leave them down in the comments below I'd really love to hear from you I hope I didn't repeat myself too many times so I do have a habit of doing that don't I anyway that's the end of today's video it's a kind of ramble video in a way <laughs> but I felt as if I wanted to make this video it's a little bit different I guess in some ways from what I usually do but you know um, I will be still uploading so uh, you know uh, what I'm planning to do is videos on Monday and Friday for the next couple of weeks and then I'll get back to my schedule of Monday, Wednesday and Friday. If you've enjoyed today's video, then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to leave your comments down below. Uh, I'd really love to hear from you. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon. Hi mortals, I'm Jesus. You can now purchase Gaz Reynolds Presents The G-Log, album volume one from Apple Music, Spotify, and all major outlets around the world. Includes the massive hits, Electronic Kama Sutra, I Only Hear You, and Dark Lady. This is one heavenly experience you won't forget. By the way, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification button so that you can watch every episode of the G-Log religiously. Out now, Gaz Electric. Reynolds' new album, The Electric. Wedding Album, as featured on Big Review TV Electric. and Radio Electric. Harrow. Electric. Available Electric. at iTunes Electric. and all major Electric. outlets worldwide.